What was that? Did we just install a virus or something? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure viruses don't come from verified games even bigger YouTubers have played. I hope not. Uh, is this the right game, guys? Why is this all Nintendo Entertainment System like and all? And why does the audio sound like this? This is like eating my ears by scratching a chalkboard. That's just the game's choice of art. If you don't like it, you'll have to deal with it till the end of this video. Oh, great. Fantastic. Before any of you ask, no, I don't know what a Vatican is. Do you perhaps want me to look it up? Yeah, sure. I would like to know what that is in case it becomes important later. Also, dang, what an intro to this game. What it is, everyone? It is me, Barack Obama, here with Joe Biden to watch as Donald Trump gets tested on his faith. Did you actually just make up that sentence on the fly? I'm not sure if I should be applauding or giving crickets instead. I don't know, I thought that was smooth of Barry to transition into the game's title like that. Okay, well anyways, we're playing a game called Faith. From what I heard, we play as some sort of priest and fend off actual demons and save some people, I think. I don't know. I remember hearing about this game, but I'm also as uneducated as the rest of you, gentlemen. Maybe looking into the game's instructions will give us an idea. Okay, let's see here. To move, we use WASD or arrow keys or the left analog stick or the D-pad. Okay, okay. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Okay, Joe, I don't think you have to say everything aloud. We get the picture, at least here. Okay, so when the heck do we usually do the reading then? Usually we do that when it's things like long notes or story important literature. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm carrying a crucifix. What am I, a priest? For a priest, I look nothing like one. Maybe the designers did have one in mind, but couldn't replicate it in 8-bit style. I mean, even the demon fellow over there looks pretty simplistic for one. He more looks like a deformed goat than anything. All right, you know what? Let's just move on to the actual game right now. Okay, finally, let's get a move on, gentlemen. There's a piece of paper that showed up out of nowhere as soon as we parked outside of the road. It reads, Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key is a good place to start. Oh, that's why. There's literally a map in the pause menu. But where the heck are we? That has to be the least detailed map I've ever seen in my life. Well, there were landmarks located or drawn on the map. Let's try heading straight up and see what happens. Huh? Whoa, a deer? Why the heck was there a deer there? I mean, I know we're in a forest, but why is it running away from us at that speed? Oh, I don't know, because we usually hunt for deer, so they've attributed humans as a threat now. Are you saying I'm a threat? Whoa, what the? what the freak is that? What on God's green earth is that? Noted, this crucifix protects us from demons, no matter their color. I'm sorry, repeat that again, Donnie. Oh, hey, look, a well, but where are we still? You'd think I'd know, Joe? Can you try interacting with that well? I'm sorry, did you just cast a ghost out of that well? What in the world kind of ghost haunts a well? That one, apparently. Okay, anyways, this note has something important. This note says something about going straight past the well. Do you think that could be the place we need to be at? I hope so, I personally wouldn't know where to go. Although I do have to admit, I'm not liking the creepy drawing of that clown. Sounds like we're heading the right direction then. Oh God, Whoa. it's back. Oh my Lord. Did anyone know what that thing just said? Not a clue since whatever he said was clouded by us yelling. It almost sounded like he said, worship me. Odd if that is what he said, what even is he? Uh, I don't know, a demon? It's a bit of an open and shut case, Barry. It's a weird looking spider like human alien that runs away from the crucifix. Yeah, but why does it even have that appearance? Does it have some sort of origin? Well, this is chapter one, so maybe we'll get our answers later or something. Oh, great, fantastic. Now we're missing a key that we apparently needed. Wonderful. Where the heck would a key be located if we're stranded in a forest? Let's just keep looking. Maybe this is like Zelda, where items might be sitting in remote locations. Or maybe it's located in that deserted house over to the right. Like I said before, Oh my gosh, he really did say, worship me. 
Okay, but there, I don't know what he's on about. What a weirdo that demon is. Uh, what the heck is that thing? It looks like a gathering of stone rocks in some sort of formation. Try interacting with it. All right, there we go. Now, what does this note say? Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. This game has a cult confirmed. You took those words right out of my mouth. But why is this note here? Why are people learning historical facts about this kind of dangerous material? More importantly, why are we even here? I know there was that intro, but I can't even remember a dang thing that guy said. You know, to be honest, I don't either. I think it had something to do with unfinished business or something. I remember him saying something about what he was doing wasn't approved by the Vatican, which is something I forgot I was gonna look up. Oh yeah, please look that up. I am actually curious what that is. Seriously, what is he even saying? You're asking me, Joe? Oh, nice. That was just a guess whether I was able to do that or not. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected, registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. That note is made more suspicious now that we know what's happening in Connecticut. Um, do you think the person who was buried that had their markings in a different language was involved in some sort of cult? I'm sorry, did he just say, I have a body of a pig? The things that he says are extremely odd. Wow, the one time the deer didn't run away right away. Weird. No thanks, I don't feel like dealing with you right now. I'm trying to find my way out of here. Okay, the amount of times you're ignoring him is actually scaring me, Donnie. Then maybe I'll deal with him if he's actually close enough and isn't constantly at me 24-7. I swear you're gonna bite your tongue if you get killed by him in some cartoonish way. Hold on, how in the world did I get back here? I wasn't going in circles, I know it. Hang on, hang on! Was that note serious and that the forest has a mind of its own? Oh my gosh, yeah. That could be it. Holy cow, I completely forgot about that note. I didn't pay much. Oh my god, oh, what on earth is that is thing? That? Wow, you got an achievement from that. I had a feeling karma was coming around to bite you like that. Okay, mister, I saw this coming. Did you see him literally coming from the very side I was approaching? If so, can you provide me a 15 paragraph essay and how I was supposed to react to that? Okay, I will be honest. That kill did seem pretty cheap. I certainly didn't see that coming, I'll admit. And now we gotta start all the way from the beginning and work our way back up again. Oh my goodness. I promise you I was holding the S key to look down at him. Well, judging from where you were turned over, that didn't seem the case. No, I'm saying that my intention was to freaking look down at him so I could face him. Well, guess we're starting from the very, very beginning again. Whoa, what the heck was just at the top of the screen there? I actually don't know. Maybe they are ghost children or something? Please screw off, demon. I'm actually not having it with you. Bro, it's literally been three seconds. Screw off. Go away. Jeez, you weren't kidding when you said 24-7. Kind of thought you were exaggerating for a bit. The heck kind of artifact is this? And how does a ghost haunt one like this? Spider Dude really does show up frequently. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. Ew, gross. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. I have an incredibly strong feeling that wasn't a coyote. It was either that spider alien demon 
or even the children themselves. Oh, there's the house. Why would you think it'd be the children, Donnie? I refuse to believe children are that stupid enough to just touch a corpse of a deer, especially considering this area seems to be cursed itself. Hold on, guys, there's another important note, and it reads, the Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Okay, I was about to comment on that note, but where did the music go? I don't know, and why is this shed so empty of literally anything? More importantly, did you see something at the window, Trump? Yes, I did. It's that thing again. Okay, I think we can now talk about that note Joey read for us. Yes. The thing I want to talk about the most was the family's choice to do the exorcism at the house. Why? Why what? Why did the family decide to do the exorcism at home instead? Is that what you wanted to ask? Yeah, why did they choose to do that? Two possibilities. Either A, the family's already part of a cult and wanted to bring the curse to the house, or B, the family's just a moron. Why do you think they want to bring the curse to the house, Donald? Joe, do you know how easy it is to be affiliated with the devil himself? Literally sneeze in his direction and he'll literally talk to you frame one. So are you suggesting the family wants to get a hold of Satan? What for? Why would I know? I hate that guy and I do not want to get in arm's reach of any open Satan worshipers. You don't want to get in arm's reach either. That's a weird description, isn't it? Joey, please believe me when I say this. I've seen supernatural things happen. Some, of course, were satanic related. I've seen people go insane, actual extreme cases of bad luck, and even curses. Okay, then. I was going to read, but I'm sorry. Did the music just stop? Okay, now I'm officially freaked out. Pitch silence always frightens me, especially if I know I'm not alone. Okay, yep, that checks out. The music is very much gone. Okay, totally not terrified or anything. Is this the part we get jumped or something? I'm getting paranoid now. Okay, okay, gentlemen. Let's settle down. Freaking out this much isn't going to help us out like last time. Okay, okay, Obama's right. Let's calm down and assess the situation. Okay, okay, I'm calm now, I promise. Okay, wait, we're in a haunted house. Confirmed, we're screwed. Joe, didn't I just tell you to calm down now? Remember how this is a horror game? Literally anything can happen at any moment, and I wouldn't be ready for it. Oh my gosh, Joe. Okay, but Joe does have a point, though. It is unnerving how quiet it is, and we are playing a horror game. Especially since this is a religious-based game, a demon could jump out at any given moment. I'm starting to think you two are just overreacting too quickly. Nothing has even happened yet, gentlemen. Calm down. Okay, but what if something does happen? How do I even react? If something chases Donald, just yell at him to run away or something. Just be thankful you're not playing. Oh, okay, I'll make sure to remember to do that then. Joe, please don't. I think I'd be more distracted by you yelling at me more than afraid of the demon chasing me. Dang it. Uh, is that something behind you? A ghost, maybe? Yes, I think so. Though my crucifix isn't doing anything here. Then run, Trump. Run, please. Joe, I don't know if you've noticed, but I can't run fast enough, and that thing hasn't done anything yet. Maybe that's the game's way, trying to put me at the edge of my seat. Well, it's certainly putting me at the edge of my life here. Well, wait a minute. What did you say, Joe? Okay. In what universe does a demon or a ghost haunt a faucet in a bathtub? What were they doing, showering in swamp water or something? More importantly, we have a note to read. And it reads, I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. 
I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, so whoever this Amy person is, she's totally possessed by a demon of some kind. But how could you say that, Trump? One, voices were being heard outside of the house specifically at night, and the house is supposedly feeling distorted. Two, whoever is the individual writing that note, she couldn't be around Amy because Amy's not herself. Three, the phone's been out for most of the day and the car keys are now missing. It's a little obvious. Are you suggesting that was all the work of a demon? Obama, if you continue to read the Bible, there's a small story where Jesus literally casts out a demon from an individual and seals them in pigs, which causes said pigs to literally drown themselves after throwing themselves off a cliff. What in the world? Okay, anyways, were any of you two reading that note per chance? No, but were you, Joe? Yes, actually, I did. From the little I actually remember, though, Yes, unfortunately, Amy's possessed by a demon. Oh, great. Fantastic. Legends have it that I'm always right about everything. Oh, God, not this again, Trump. Hey, wait a minute. Are you, though, Donnie? I mean, I like you and everything, but were you right about you winning against me during the 2020 election and all? Huh? Okay, that was because I didn't expect the election to be completely Okay, gentlemen, rigged, let's though. calm down I now. This oh, isn't the you end to to literally about this. lie about the results. Okay, to my surprise, we can't enter in there. At least not yet, I suppose. That blood trail is incredibly suspicious, though. Is the door just locked on the other side or something? Maybe because it's a video game, we have to do something first before unlocking that door. There was a set of stairs we saw earlier in here, so maybe we can go down there at least? Okay, there's already something suspicious over there. I see blood over at the far right, I mean left. Yes, far left. Mixing up your rights and lefts again? Hey, leave me alone. I swear lefts and rights can be a little tricky to remember when saying it on the spot. It sometimes takes me just a few seconds to remember. Okay, anyways, there's a note right here and it reads, Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, What's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Sam when what now? Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. From Leighton. So is Sam Wam a demon or something? Well, Saint Death does sound like a nickname for a demon, so yeah, I would think so. Plus the fact that when they pray to him, objects would start to move around. Once again, something a demon would do. So you mean those lifeless mannequins will just come to life soon and attack us? Oh gosh, wait, would that be the case? Because those mannequins being there is making me concerned as well. I uh, think we have a bigger thing to be concerned about here, gentlemen. Like this note here that reads, Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, mother, mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. That is, uh, uh, that is something indeed. Okay, so you're telling me Father Allred, presumably a priest, couldn't stop this demon. Oh my Lord, what is that? What the heck? Donald, run, run like the wind now. What do you think I am doing, Joe? Just continue running. Shut it and get out of there now, Trump. I know, I know. Shut up and just let me focus on getting out of Dodge. Just get going. Oh my gosh.
Huh, the music's back, guys. Ah, thank goodness. That was genuinely terrifying. Yes, but something's not right here. What? You're going back into the house? Why? Something tells me that I'm supposed to confront whatever that invisible demon was. What? Why? Are you positive you're supposed to? Okay, as much as I hate to say it, what else are we even supposed to do besides confronting the demon? There's quite literally nothing else we can think of that might tie into the checklist. Ah, oh, all right, flying. Just make sure you please survive, Donald. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Halt, in the name of Jesus, I command you, demon, to... You're not serious. Okay, so good to know that doesn't work. Don't want to hear it right now. Um, 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 what is that? Is that the girl from the rings? What is she doing here? I love how my guy gets out of the bed already waving the crucifix out in front of him. Okay, that's funny and all, but what's going on? Do you think the rings girl is here somewhere waiting for us? I don't know. But the droning definitely gives me the impression that that is the case. Oh boy. Halt, stop in the name of Jesus. What the heck is this? She did that shadow clone ninjutsu thing. Huh? Okay, wait, am I battling this demon or something? Where the heck could she be? Oh, oh my, oh my, my lord. Huh? Was that the game's way of saying you were going out of bounds or something? I hope so, because that was one cheap as heck game over. Wait, so how far are we restarting then? Okay, maybe not too far. Let's just get this over with, demon. Does anyone know what she's even saying? Kinda. It's very hard to tell what she is even saying. Seriously, where the heck is she? What the heck? There wasn't even a warning she was coming. What? So was her killing me really just some cheap kill or something? I don't know, but let us just move past it for now. No thanks, not till you're gone, demon. I wish we could, though. No. Uh-uh. I heard a door open upstairs. The door with the blood trail, definitely. Oh shoot, really? I mean, I wouldn't know what other door it would be that had any significant detail to it. Just as I thought, it's open. What in the world? What's with this house's obsession with mannequins? And why is there a big blood trail? I don't know, but let me read this note real quick. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, um, hang on. What's with these blank spaces? Yeah, I was just about to say, it almost looks like as if there's redacted information. So wait, what exactly does that mean? Is it hiding something super important like survival purposes or are we all right? We might be all right. I mean, I can't imagine what else we do other than wave our crucifix at the demon. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. All of this from some guy named John. But now I'm curious what the other information is about. Who knows? Maybe we'll learn about it later or something. For now, let's just get a move on. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? No. I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Okay, yeah, whatever, but what if I wave my crucifix at you? What are you gonna do now, huh? Okay, but like, what is even happening? What's that white thing on her? It might just be cloth or something. Okay, what in the world is that figure? Is that another demon or something? More importantly, it looks like he's not getting repelled by your crucifix, Donnie. It looks like you have to try and avoid it while you get rid of the demon inside of the rings, girl. Yeah, I've noticed already. I also want to know what is this weird music? This sounds like an old Atari music that I used to hear sometimes. Huh? Wait, what's going on now this time? Okay, um, is that just straight up a hold of her face or what? If that's what it is meant to be, then dang, whoever the rings girl is is totally gone. Oh my gosh, that was close. It seems I'm stuck doing this again, only now I have to dodge. Great. I don't know. 
Doesn't seem so bad so far. You're doing just fine. Yeah, just repel the demon, Donald. Joe, what do you think I'm doing right now? Holy cow! How long am I supposed to be doing this for, huh? Maybe she just has a lot of health or something. Whatever the case is, keep going, Donald. You're doing great. Oh, finally! What in the world? Did an arm just sprawl out of her face? That was actually disgusting. More importantly, what's going on now? I don't know. I'm just trying to avoid getting hit. There's no way you just jinxed yourself like that. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, well now we know she'll just do that. I just hope I won't get sent back too far. Still so disgusting even after seeing it the first time. Why? Come on, dude, seriously? Should have moved out of the way, Donnie. I didn't expect her to just fly at me like that after repelling the demon out of her. I moved out of the way, I swear, that's BS. Is this about to be a compilation already? It better not. I wasn't in range, what do you mean, game? Donald? I can already hear your question. I didn't think she was gonna hit me. Weird plan. Oh my God, you're not serious. Every death brings me closer to having a stroke. This is getting annoying. What? Okay, now that's just embarrassing, Donald. Shut it, Obama. This is seriously frustrating me. Oh my Lord God Almighty. Why does my guide walk this slow? That really sucks too, because you were surviving for a while as well. I'm having a stroke as we speak, gentlemen. Well, hopefully you having a stroke will still carry on beating this demon. I don't even know how I should respond to that. I'm just trolling you a little bit, Donnie. You know it. F*** this game, man. Whoa, hey, no swearing, Trump. I was waiting for it to be honest with you. Oh my lord, as if this wasn't hard enough, now she can just shoot demons at me. Great. Wait, did I do it? Oh my gosh, finally. Did you actually beat her? Please tell me I did. Yes, finally. Hallelujah, gentlemen. You even got an achievement for that. Nice. Okay, wait, but what now? Hey, I don't know. For now, let's just get the heck out of here already. Whoa, whoa, hey now, what's this here? Why is there a gun just sitting in the middle of the floor there? How did it get there? That's what you question? Not the big giant text written backwards in blood saying killer? Also, why does this gun have only one bullet? Better question, what are we supposed to do with it? Do we really just kill the demon that was attacking us? Hang on, let's think about this for a sec. Wasn't that individual technically possessed and not actually a demon? If we have to kill Amy, wouldn't we be risking the possibility that we're killing the person and not the demon? Are you sure though? You understand that we're talking about the same person who had a blood arm just sprawl out of her face. I'm just saying we are risking the possibility. Wait, if we shouldn't kill her because of what you're saying, Obama, what else can we do then? Oh heck, I actually don't know. Assuming that this really is our one and only shot, I think the game might be demanding we kill her. But now I am on edge of what Barry is saying. What if this goes wrong or something? Unless you're saying you have a plan B, there is no other option here. And of course I don't, oh boy. Well, let's just hope this is somehow the right option. Oh man, there she is, guys. Well, I think it might be time, gentlemen. Oh boy, here goes nothing. If this backfires, I'm sorry, guys. Wow, she's definitely gone after that. Dang, for real? Is this the part where we finally leave or something? You know, this journey's been so crazy, I forgot our guy actually drove here. Well, I guess it's time to slowly walk to our car on the road then.
Is that the well from before? I forgot there was a well here. Oh, my me. I think we're heading the right direction. If the well before was straight up from our car, then that means we're going straight down. And just like that, I was right. Oh, sweet heavens, our ticket out of this hellhole. <sighs> yeah, let's just get out of here. What the? The police? Police? What are they doing here? No, Jill, hide our son. They're after him already. Excuse me, Joey? I got the murder ending, and that was just one of five. What? Wait, so you're telling me there were more things to do? What even were those things? Where would we be able to find whatever? Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. John Ward, John Ward, that sounds familiar. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Wait, was John Ward the guy who wrote that note before the fight with Amy? Oh my goodness, that's what I was thinking of. Yes, it is, I think. Okay, that's cool and all, but keep scrolling. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. What is it with every fictional girl being underaged in these dark situations? That would actually make sense here, as unfortunately, younger people are more open to these kinds of things, assuming they and their families practice satanic-related stuff a lot or just live in a very, very cursed area. I'll just keep reading. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had seen thrown out of the second story window of the house. Oh no, they're about to accuse us for that now. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Wait, that's right, because what he was doing wasn't approved by the Vatican, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, wait, weren't you gonna search up what that was or something? Well, from as much as I was able to gather, a Vatican might be a city, a headquarters, or a high up, like a pope, I think. I'm assuming what John was insinuating at the beginning was that what he was doing was not approved by the higher up of his church or whatever it was. Oh, that makes way more sense now. Thank you for sharing, Barry. Wait a second. I could have maybe killed that spider demon thing at the beginning. I just now realized that. You're not serious, Donald. Don't look at me like that. Everything that happened in the house was so insane. I actually forgot about that spider demon. I thought it was my job to forget about things like that, not yours. Shut it, Biden. All right, everyone. That's the end of this video. This was way more strange than I anticipated, not gonna lie. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like, comment, and a subscription. It helps us and Jared Gaming produce more of these types of videos. Just don't expect these videos too often. All of us are busy one way or another, especially me. And as always, of course, take care everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. You all.